let's discuss some of the point defects short key defects this type of defects occur when a pair of ions of opposite charges are missing from the ideal lattice for example let's say sodium chloride crystal if a sodium ion and a chloride ion that is a pair of ions of opposite charge are missing then we'll say that that crystal has short key defect obviously a large number of short key defects in a crystal will lower its density this type of defects have been observed in silver bromide crystals we can visualize the short key defect like this this is a crystal lattice suppose red balls are the anion and the blue balls represent the cations for example sodium chloride crystal like we were talking about we can see in the figure that a red ball is missing from this place and a blue ball is missing from this place so a pair of oppositely charged ions are missing that's why this defect is a short key defect and you can also see that if there are many such defects in the crystal lattice its density will be adversely affected that is it will decrease another type of point defects are the interstitial defects in interstitial defects the interstitial sites which generally remain vacant in a crystal lattice are occupied by the constituent particles of the same lattice or some other particles this increases the density of the crystal let's have a look at the figures this site would have been vacant in a normal crystal but one of the constituent particle itself occupies this interstitial site this is known as a self interstitial defect whereas in this type of interstitial defect the particle which occupies this vacant site is not one of the constituent particles of this lattice this is also a type of impurity defect that we are going to discuss soon another type of point defects are the frankel defects they can be considered as a combination of short key defect and interstitial defect when an ion leaves its normal position in a crystal lattice and occupies a vacant interstitial site instead the defect occurs known as frankel defect this kind of defect do not cause any change in the density of the crystal these are observed commonly in silver halide crystals the silver ions are considerably smaller than the halide ions in size and therefore they can easily occupy the interstitial sites in the crystal as we can see in this figure if red balls indicate the anions and blue balls represent the cations a cation that is this blue ball leaves its normal site in this crystal lattice and occupies a interstitial space instead this kind of defect will be called frankel defect the next type of defects are the impurity defects they are also point defects they occur when a foreign atom is present in the crystal lattice that foreign atom may occupy the place of one of the constituent particles or it may occupy an interstitial site this type of defects have been observed in sodium chloride in sodium chloride small amount of strontium chloride is present so the strontium ion which is divalent occupies some of the sites meant for sodium ions each strontium ion which is divalent will replace two monovalent sodium ions thus one of the site will be occupied by the strontium ion and the other will remain vacant these are the two cases of impurity defects in this figure we can see that another particle has occupied one of the interstitial sites in the crystal lattice whereas in this figure the foreign particle has replaced a constituent particle both of them are impurity defects we discussed this case while discussing the interstitial defects as well our next topic is non stoichiometric compounds i hope you remember we discussed stoichiometry in an earlier chapter that was concept of equivalent so non stoichiometric compounds or more precisely non stoichiometric solids can be defined as those solids in which the ratio of the number of atoms of one kind to the number of atoms of the other kind do not correspond to the ideal whole number ratio since 
their ratio is not whole number they do not obey the laws of chemical combination which dictates simple whole number ratio among the atoms of different kinds non stoichiometry is often uh, observed in the oxides and sulfides of transition elements one of the examples is iron oxide in iron oxide the iron and oxide ions are present in the ratio 0.98 is to 1 instead of the expected ratio 1 is to 1 non stoichiometry indicates that obviously the metal ions are either in excess of the required number or they are less than the required number present in the crystal one of the conditions of non stoichiometry in the crystals were that the metal ions may be present in excess of the required number in the crystal that is that causes the F centers. So F centers can be defined as that whenever there is an axis of metal ions in non stoichiometric compounds, the crystal lattice has vacant ion sites which are then occupied by the electrons. These vacant ion sites occupied by electrons are known as F centers. F centers have been often found to be associated with the color of compounds. For example, in potassium chloride crystal, the violet color appears due to the axis of potassium ions. Similarly, in lithium chloride, the axis of lithium gives the crystal a pink color. 